Hello everyone, it's Miros and it's time for camera comparison. Not just a regular camera comparison, but these three guys here. In the middle is freshly released Xiaomi 14 Pro with the new Omnivision sensor. On the left is Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and on the right is iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's do it. Okay guys, we are starting with the standard 4K 30fps for the three devices. We can see we have tons of uh, clouds. Sun is behind the clouds now, but we will wait it after a minute. What is the idea? The idea is uh, to check the HDR here. Is it uh, better on Xiaomi or iPhone is still with the best HDR? S23 Ultra, you can see the image is over sharpened or it's not. We, we have some trails in the sky. Perfect conditions for testing. Also, I will switch the microphones between the three devices so we can test so we can test better the microphone quality on the three of them. Let's point them to the sun so we can check we have better HDR or worse. Did uh, Xiaomi improve their camera with this new Omnivision sensor or they make a downgrade from the last year one inch sensor? We'll check that today. So 4K 30 FPS on three devices. I'm walking now and now I will start running to check the stabilization on the three devices. Is it better on the iPhone, on the Galaxy or on Xiaomi? All right, enough running. Now let's rotate the cameras and also we'll do a shaking test, some up and downs, some left and right. And I will point them to me. I'm here. All right, guys, I'm now recording 4K 60 FPS on the three devices. I'm just walking now here in the shadows and now I will rotate the devices and go in front of the sun. All right. Let's do this and of course now I will start running so we can check the stabilization on the three devices when we are record 4K 60 FPS. Okay, enough running. Now I'm walking and the strange part here is on the Galaxy S23 Ultra we can't switch between the lenses when we are record 4K 60 FPS but we can do this on the iPhone and on Xiaomi that's why I will do this now let's just rotate the cameras and on Galaxy I will stay one by because I can't switch it I will go wider 0.5 on the iPhone we can't go wider on Xiaomi but we can zoom it up to 6 by on iPhone we can go 2 by now and 5 by also we can zoom again up to 15 by and this will give advantage to the iPhone in terms of 4K 60 FPS Right, one by again on the three devices, and here I am recording. Now I'm recording 4K 30 FPS with the front cameras of the three devices. Finally, Xiaomi gave us the option to record 4K video with the front cam, which was a bummer for so many years, but now we can record it. All right, I will rotate and I will start running so we can test stabilization on the front cameras of the three devices. 4K 30 FPS, remember it. All right, I think we have enough running. I'm already start getting tired of that running, but in that way we can test better the stabilization on the front cameras. Also, I will rotate them because the uh, sun is behind me now it is directly and from what i can see the colors are very washed out on xiaomi s23 ultra is uh, doing a good job and iphone 2 but on xiaomi colors are very washed out 
this is very harsh uh, conditions when the sun is pointing directly to the front camera but we need to test it and enough from the front cameras all right guys now i'm recording 4k 30 fps with the telephoto cameras of the three devices you know samsung galaxy s23 ultra has two telephoto lenses one is 3 by which i'm using now and the next one is 10 by xiaomi has 3.2 by 50 megapixel sensor and iphone has uh, 5 by telephoto so i'm recording now 5 by on the iphone 3.2 by on xiaomi and 3 by on the galaxy I will rotate on the other side, point to the sun, of course. And I will switch now on the Galaxy to 10 by. All right, now 10 by on the Galaxy 3.2 on Xiaomi and 5 by on the iPhone 3 by again on the Galaxy. And I will rotate and start turning so we can check the stabilization of the three devices when they are using their telephoto cameras. And enough of another 4k 30 fps test on the three devices i'm here in the woods again you know i love the woods but for me these are the perfect conditions to test the cameras because we have here lots of colors also we have uh, lots of shadings and also we have hdrs and like now we are going from shade to sun and also let's check the focus now on the iPhone, on Xiaomi and on the Galaxy. So I'm walking now, pointing the cameras in front of me and of course I will now start running to test the stabilization. Right, I'm running now, which is better, which microphone is better, that's also important enough running let's point them to the sun very harsh conditions pointing directly to sun and now to the road i'm here you can see me and the sun is behind me these are the brutal conditions and we can compare better the three cameras we are recording now using the main camera keep in mind that okay i'm using now cinematic mode video on the iphone portrait mode video on s23 ultra and movie mode on xiaomi 14 pro which uh, should make a very good uh, bokeh effect behind me and focus on my face so i will try to move left and right and check which of them will focus me better and we will understand which movie mode is better or cinematic or portrait video all right it's time to do some night video recordings 4k 30 fps what we are checking here we have lots of lights that's why we need to check the lens flare and i'm walking now and now i'm start running so we can check the stabilization in the night is it any better all right here i am you can check the focus and also again i will switch the microphones on that street let's do some shaking tests up and down left and right okay and pointing to the lights From what I can see on the viewfinder, lens flare on Xiaomi 14 Pro is worse than the others. And now it's time for selfie video, 4K 30 FPS again, here on the street. Check the lights behind me. Okay, I'm here walking, now I'm start running. Check the stabilization of the front camera enough running because i'm tired all day running and is the video any good on xiaomi and again i will rotate with the camera 
can check the stabilization and that's I think enough testing for night video recording on these three devices